consider the population consisting of the values 4, 6, and 8. List, list down all the possible samples of size 2 with replacement. Compute the mean of each sample. Compute the mean of the sampling distribution of means. Identify the probability of each mean sample. Compute the population mean. Compare the population mean with the mean of the sampling distribution of means. Compute the variance of the sampling distribution of means. Compute the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of means. So first thing we do, we list down all the possible samples of size 2 with replacement. So let's do A. So we list down, so this is the population 4, 6, and 8. So um, sample size 2. So we have 4, so let's do the population, it's 4, 6, and 8. So list of 2, so we have 4 and 4 because there's a replacement, with replacement. So we have 4 and 6. And then 4 and 8. And then we have 6 and 6. And then we have 6 and 4. And then we have 6 and 8. And then we have 8 and 8. And then we have 8 and 4. And then we have 8 and 6. So we did all the possible um, sample size um, 2. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 of them. So let's do B. Compute the mean of each sample. The mean of each sample. So we um, compute the mean. So 4. So we have 4 and 4. So we have 4 plus 4 over 2 is equal to 4. So now we compute 4 plus 6 divide 2 is um, 10. So 4 plus 6 is 10 and then divide 2 it's 5. And then 4 plus 8 is 12 and then divide 2 it's 6. And then 6 plus 6 divide 2 is 6. And then 6 plus 4 over 2 is also 5. And then 6 plus 8 is 14, divide 2 is 7. So 8 plus 8, divide 2 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12, divide 2 is 6. And then 8 plus 6 is 14, divide 2 is 7. So these are the um, mean of the um, of this sample means. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So we did them all. So now the mean. So we did them all. So now let's do C. So compute the mean of the sampling distribution of means. So that means we add all this up. So we have. So the sum of the sample means. all over size n. So we have 4 plus 5. So we have 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 6 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 6 plus 7. So now divided by n or the number of um, size 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9. So 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 7 plus 8 plus 6 plus 7 is equal to 54 over 9 or 54 divide 9 is equal to 6. So let's do D. So identify the probability of each sample mean the mean of each mean sample so these are the mean of each um, sample so let's do d so 
so there is one so this is the sample mint so let's go to next page so let's do d so these are the um mean of the sample so this is the x bar so we have the um we have four we have five five six 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 and then seven seven and then eight so now the probability the probability of each mean so p the probability of each mean p of x bar so there are one two three four five six seven eight nine so there is only one four so that means that one over nine now here five so there are two of them so two over nine now here there are three six so that means three out of nine or this is equal to one over three so now there are two seven so that means two over nine and then one over nine so this is d so d we did d so e compute the population mean so e we compute the population mean so the population is four six and eight so the population mean mu is equal to the sum of x all over the big n so what is um the sum so we have four plus six plus eight all over three or this is equal to 18 all over 3 or this is equal to 6 so we did e so we do f compare the population mean with the mean of the sampling distribution of means so we compute the mean of the sample means so it's equal to 6 and then we also compute the um mean of the population which is equal to six so we compare them so and they are the same so let's do g compute the variance of the sampling distribution of means and then we compute the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of means so we need two columns for this so we have the x bar minus mu x bar and then we square this so x bar minus so we have to um list all the sampling the sample mean of the sample so we have the four and then five four five six six five then we have seven eight six and seven one two three four five six seven eight nine so now we have x minus mu so and mu is equal to um, six so that means four minus six 
5 minus 6, 6 minus 6, 6 minus 6, 5 minus 6, 7 minus 6, 8 minus 6, 6 minus 6, 7 minus 6. Now 4 minus 6 is equal to minus 2. And then we square minus 2 times a minus 2 is equal to 4. Now 5 minus 6 is a minus 1. Or we square this, it's equal to 1. 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. It's still 0 when we square it. 5 minus 6 is minus 1. And we square this 1, it's equal to 1. 7 minus 6 is 1, and square that 1 is still a 1. 8 minus 6 is equal to 2, and we square it, it's equal to 4. 6 minus 6 is equal to 0, so 0. 7 minus 6 is equal to 1, or this is 1. Now, we need to sum this. So, 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 1, so... It's equal to 12. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 4, it's equal to 12. Now the variance is equal to the sum of this and all over the all over the um, number of data, which is 9. So this is equal to 1.33. Now the standard deviation, it's equal to the square root of this, 1.33. So this is equal to, no, this is um, vari this is variance. So this is the square root of the variance. So this is equal to 1.15. So, variance standard deviation. It's a long problem. But, um, it's all calculation. As long as you do the, um, um, you follow the um, formula and plug in um, the numbers, then um, you're good to go.